hi Kelly, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Just thought I'd make a little video, say hello, say I miss you. And I think about you all the time. It's a beautiful Labor Day. Um, it's about, I don't know, 79 maybe, but it's just gorgeous. We're going to have three warm days coming up. And then after that, it looks like the weather's going to be hitting 72, 75, you know, for a good 15 days. So I think we're getting out of the extreme heat. We had a little bit of a drought this year. And i got to check with my hay man, make sure I get my hay, you know, for the fall. And, um, but otherwise than that, things are going really well. I spent a lot of time outside this year. Um, you know, working around with my flowers, my garden, mowing the lawn, things like that. I spent more time outside this year than last. And uh, maybe this fall, I'll, you know, do some painting in that front room, finish that off, put up a few more blinds that i got to put up. But having a, you know, pretty good, pretty good uh, retirement, just relaxing and doing projects, you know, at my leisure whenever I want to do them and however long I want to spend on it. I'm not rushed to get it done, you know? So, um, think about you every day. Every time I put on a sweater or some socks you gave me or some shirts, uh, be, mm -hmm. I think about you all, all the time, you know? So hopefully things are going well. I'm sure they are in Arizona. And here it's, you know, it's been good. It's been a hot summer, but it's been good. Uh, boys are doing well. Tobias has a week off coming up. and. Um, I don't know, third week of September, I guess. We're going to go to the Lucky Seven. We're going to do some horseback riding. We usually go once a year and just, you know, plow, plow around a horse for about an hour. You know, it's kind of fun. Kids enjoy it, and I like just getting back on the saddle. It's fun. And um, other, other than that, we've been not doing too much because of COVID. You know, a lot of stuff shut down. No deer field fair this year. Um, geez, you know, so many things are shut down. So um, hopefully things will start getting back to normal, you know, sooner than later. So I think I'm just going to walk around and show you a couple things that I have in my garden that I've been working working on. But I did want to say hi. I did want to send a little video your way. And uh, let's see if I can walk around. And I don't know if I can. I can't. I can't seem to flip it. Once I have this set on me, uh, I don't think I can flip it around the other way. Let me just hit this button and see what happens. Is that that's the camera button? I think. Take a picture. So it's not going to work. But anyways, okay, let's take the whole thing and let's walk around. What do you say? Okay, here we go. Okay, so, let me show you what Zach got me recently. So if you can see this. Uh, yeah, he got me these black-eyed Susans right here. Um, they're beautiful. We're going to put them in the ground tomorrow. He also got me some, um, they're blackberry, grapes, and blueberry bushes. I think you can see those okay. I'm seeing, I'm just holding the camera backwards, so I don't really know what you can see. Hopefully you can see that. And um, the flowers up there are doing well. They're spreading out. The, um, what do they call those flowers anyways? Are they, what are those flowers? Hmm, I used to remember. Okay, look at this wild uh, ragweed. They say when ragweed blooms, you get about five weeks and you hit a frost. Tomatoes are doing good. I get a lot of tomatoes here. And at this point, I'm just trying to clip them back so they won't keep on growing greens. I want them to, you know, uh, get red on the fruit that I already have. So I got that. Um, Zachariah last night brought me home some cabbage, which is over there. I got my cucumbers. He also brought home some kale last night. And I got my peppers back there. Again, I'm not sure what you can see. Hopefully you can see it. And he also bought me some sunflower seeds, no, sunflowers rather, here. And Zach bought some basil. Got that. And let's take a little walk over here. And um, it's just a beautiful day. The you know, humidity is starting to drop. We had a very humid summer. Every time I come out, I'm sweating every day over the summer. So Zach brought me these flowers. These come up every year. And uh, these are all this year. He bought me these perennials. So hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it's coming out okay. Some of these have already passed on. These are some more perennials. This is kind of pretty here. Not sure what that's going to be. Hopefully you can see that. And then around here I planted some of these flowers. I guess they're probably called mums, possibly. I'm not sure. Maybe not. But I planted some of these and they're going to start to bloom up, which would be pretty once they get big. 
And then Zach also bought me this cute little girl over here. Don't get too close. She's, I don't know if you can see her or not, but she has a little corn stalk there. Little um, scarecrow, I guess, with her little rake. She's cute. And I guess it's better. And what I also did, oh yeah, this week, uh, two days ago, I think it was, Zach and I tarred the barn. We had, I had a couple of leaks, so we tarred that up. And uh, next year we'll tar it some more. We did a really good job last year, but there was two spots. It seemed to, one spot started to leak and then corrected itself for whatever reason that happens. And another spot was um, getting, leaking too much. So I had to put some tar on that, which we did. These are doing good. These are spreading out kind of nice. So I got my apple trees there. And then what we did, I won't go too far down, but what I did was, I, I, I think I might have mentioned to you I want to open up the back of my property. So, um, for the goats, let me see if I can get over this fence. Where that white basket is, laundry basket, that's where my fence used to end. So right around where this lighter soil is. So what I did was I opened it up more. I have it open beyond this doghouse now. It's opened all in this area. And then it goes around. It goes all the way to the back of my property. Oh, there's the goats down there. The kids are feeding my goats something. But if you can see the goats, I'm not sure if you can see them. I can't really zoom in right now, but um, there they are. So the, so the goats can go all the way over here. So now all this back area from the barn here all the way to the back where the goats are. They, that's all a new area that they can play in. Well, not really play. They forage in it. They could play if they wanted to. They love that big rock there. I'm not sure if you can see the big rock. I'm not, I'm not zooming in, so things all might seem small when you're looking at it. But they're down there with the neighbor kids. The neighbor kids like to feed them stuff. So As long as my goats have sense enough to eat what's good and don't eat what's not so good. Uh, so that's about it. So I'm going to go back. And uh, Carrie started the generator. Carrie's over there. He started the generator every few months. You want to start it up. Maybe every, I don't know, maybe every month he starts it up. Make sure it runs good for the winter when we need it. So that's about it, I guess. I'm going to see if I can turn this around again. And just wanted to say hi to you. Let you know I'm thinking about you all the time. And send my love uh, your way. Let's see if I can put this back to where it was. I'm not sure where this was. Okay, I don't think I can. How do I have this anyways? Oh, well. Let me go this way. So, let me see if I can get this to... I have a little stick, but it's not working too good. <laughs> so, here I am. Here I am. So, anyways, I love you very much. And I will send another video later on. I'll let you know how my um, fall flowers are coming out. I want to get some pumpkins and some gourds and put them up things like that. So uh, it's working out well. I like my retirement. I love doing things outside and just taking my time and doing projects however long it takes. I'm not in any big rush to get anything done. So okay, I love you very much, honey. I will talk to you later. You have a wonderful uh, fall, okay? And I'll check with you later, later on. Love you, dear. Bye-bye now.